And <clears throat> so all of a sudden, oh, and then there was one other thing that happened. So there are all these things that were happening that were really not normal with that clinic. And then I found out, anyway, and then the dentist did what they did to me. And I later found out that they had put, um, they put some kind of an implant into my filling in 2006. And that's what that was about. And then after that, they never went to see me again. So the other thing that happened at that time is I had a migraine after my son was born. And I went to the clinic, and they told me to go into this one room, and they said they were giving me 10 cc's of morphine. I didn't feel the cc's of morphine at all. I mean, I, I, I knew I'm, I'm not delusional. I know what pain is. And if somebody gives me sugar water or a placebo and, and I don't feel any difference at all in my pain level, I know that they haven't given me morphine. So I said to him, I don't, he said, wait, you know, 30 minutes. And I said, I don't feel any difference at all. I mean, it wasn't even like I, I had a little bit less pain and then I needed another 10 cc's to really get rid of the pain. I couldn't tell that there was a difference at all. And so then he came back and he gave me a little bit more, but it was almost like he gave me five cc's on the second shot. It was um, totally different. It did nothing for my pain. It wasn't my typical treatment. So later, after he did this and they said it wouldn't give me anything else, I later was going through my medical bills and I found in my medical bills, you know, where they, they charge me for, I mean, it's it was going to Molina. Molina was the insurance provider. They're through California and um, it's run by, it was at that time it was being run, I think, by Hispanic people. But um, Melina, the insurance people were also giving me a hard time about some things at, around that time. But I, I was still given a copy of my charges and my bills and that kind of thing. And usually I didn't look at them. I would just, I mean, if the insurance company was taking care of it, I didn't have to pay for anything. So I didn't really need to know or see what was, you know, an itemization of what was being used or what I was treated with. And for whatever reason, I opened this bill up one time and I looked at the, I decided to look at the itemization. And I noticed that this morphine shot was being billed as something totally different from what I was told I was given. Like the amount of money was different and the quantity was different. So then I realized, okay, first of all, I knew that something was wrong with whatever treatment they did for me then. I knew that I was being lied to. And then I get this bill that pretty much confirmed they were not even, they were billing for something different than what they told me they were doing. So that was the first time I realized they just gave me something that they just lied about what they, they gave me and now they're charging me, um, they're billing people for something different. And it's basically less, um, it was basically a, a, char a bill for less morphine than they said they were giving me or maybe it was for more, and yet they didn't give me as much as I was being billed for, and so I wondered where the rest of that morphine went. And I thought, what did they do? He like, went in the back and, and took the rest himself. And I started having car harassments around that time when I brought that up. And there were a lot of other problems that were going on, and by that time, Dr. Butler was trying to wean me from my child. But I started having vandalisms. I was then banned from the health from Columbia um, Community Health. He he made an excuse for refusing to treat me or my son at that point when I asked about that bill. And then he withdrew, Dr. Butler, they're supposed to give you 30 days for you and your child to find alternative, to find another healthcare provider, and they didn't do that. So they broke the law, I mean repeatedly. And, and then he, said that he was taking back this, um, something is really just, I need to open my windows or something because it's sort of needs more ventilation in here. And, um, anyway, I asked, 
I asked him about the. Um, where was I? Oh, he withdrew the pain contract that I had with him at the hospital. So this this um, contract, which was to allow me to be treated for my migraine pain, he withdrew it and told all of and defamed me as being drug seeking. And he said that he thought I would, had a drug problem. This is the doctor who tried to give me a huge bottle of Vicodin that I didn't take. And in retaliation, he withdrew this pain contract and he was allowing me to be tortured again with these migraines and not having any treatment. And I was being defamed as drug seeking. So this whole idea of my being a drug addict was working against me with my son as well. It was giving the state and medical people reason to torture me, refuse to treat me again, provoke me and cause distress, and and then try to make it look like I was doing something wrong so that they had grounds to take my kid away, to take Oliver. So, um, so that was what, so that was what they did, and all of a sudden I was, they, the military was triggering these migraines again, and I was going, having to show up at the emergency room, and I was being treated the exact same way as how they treated me before. I was being harassed and refused treatment, and then they started bringing a police officer into it. And they had this police, this guard show up, and a police officer show up to make it look like I, I needed, like they needed protection or security. When I had ne never once done anything out of the ordinary, never yelled at anybody, never swore at anyone, and um, nothing. They just sort of, they wanted somebody there to create an appearance a false appearance of their needing to have somebody there. So it's sort of like, it's basically lawyers, because what they do is, you know, they'll want to point to things, and then our clients had to get, um, they had to have a police officer standing by because they were so afraid of her. And like, basically nobody's afraid of me, and they're harassing me but their lawyers are just bringing someone into it so that they can create this false impression and illusion of 